Hey, what's up, guys? Sorry, my sniffles. Uh, double games here. Back playing some more Monster Hunter World. Um, yeah, we've had we've done a lot of things since I last recorded, I believe. Um, we'll just do a quick run through of where we're at. Uh, so, well, how do I do that best? Oh, well, let me let me take care of a couple orders of business first. We have a new bow build that we're preparing to use against Alatrion because I think that's my best chance at beating him. Maybe not the best, but newest best. Like, I beat him with other weapons before, but I wouldn't beat him with something new. So, uh, in order to do so, though, we need to get everything in order. Oh, I did update this. Okay. I see a tentacle coil. Or cowl. Look at this thing. We have pretty much full ice attack. We need to fix that, actually. Full constitution, evade window 4, critical boost, weakness exploit, Stamina Surge, and Bow Charge Plus. We're still a little light, actually, for my liking on decorations, but... Yeah, there's, no, there's really nowhere else to squeeze anything in, but... So, other thing we need to do real quick is we need to work on getting a new mantle. Because now that things are starting to get rough, like, we need every advantage we can get in order to beat these monsters, so... I'm missing one mantle, and arguably it's the second best mantle in the game. So let's see if I have this quest available to me. Should be a level 9 quest. Uh, I don't see it. What am I missing? It said beat three tempered monsters, which I definitely have when you get a 9 star quest. Hold on. Well, I mean, we could do these. That reward money is nice. I am so broke right now, too. Like, that's another huge problem I'm having right now. Uh, let's try it. Let's try it with my ice build here. It's, it's not... It's like low rank or high rank, so, like, this shouldn't be too bad. Granted, Azuros is kind of a nightmare, but... Uh... We'll be fine. We should be fine. Oh, did I not use my... My voucher. I needed that money. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. Were any of those monsters tempered? I don't know why there was tempered rewards for a non-tempered monster. I'll have to look at it again. That looks so good. Acorns in there? I don't know about that. Cream, it looks like. Yeah. Yummy. Look at that thing. This game is like easily the best game of all time. <laughs> like I like the other Monster Hunters, but this one has some like charm and attention to detail that I don't see in many games. Or any really. And it's not like needless attention to detail. Sometimes people put attention to detail and it's like, don't really care. Like, oh, look at the clouds have real time, I don't know, movement and tracking. And it's like, yeah, okay. Okay, it's a tempered Toby Kadachi. I gotcha. Well, that should work. I don't know if I care to get his footprints, honestly. Problem is, we've had so many investigations that I had to go through and delete a ton, and it's actually kind of a huge pain in the butt to delete the uh, uh, the investigations. The, the UI for it is atrocious. You basically have two options. You can delete all that you don't have registered, which se seems cool, but when you have 400 and you can only register 30, <laughs> so it's like, ah, shoot. Other than that, you have to do it one by one. There's no way to select like hit a button press to like this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. No, you have to delete them one by one and then confirm each one. It's so bad. So you could have like a hundred really great ones and then like three hundred bad ones. But good luck, good luck getting rid of only the three hundred bad ones. If you know what I'm saying, it's it's awful. I don't know what they were thinking there. And I'm surprised it wasn't fixed in this quality of life update. I guess people don't care about investigations so much, which. I can understand that. When it gets to late game, you probably don't care. 
We should take out this guy first, by the way, because he's arguably the worst. He's just a freaking jerk. Alright, he's leaving. Fine. See if I care. Actually, I do care. Apparently, I was tracking you. <laughs> Another cool thing is we got all of our mounts on every board. So we can do a lot of this. Like, I just hate chasing them. This is just great. I can do whatever, which, to be fair, there's not really not much for me to do here, but... I could be doing things. Especially with bow, like, you don't need to sharpen or do anything, so... It's a nice, relaxing ride. Let's put this on. I don't have any freaking rocks, are you kidding? What am I doing with my life? Okay, he's not gonna fight me. That's weird. Where's all the rocks, bro? Please don't fly away. Okay, we do this. Excuse me. No. Right, what is going on here? Okay. There we go. We might just flat out kill him here. That's how much I believe in this build. Oh, wow. We're not doing as much damage as I thought. Let's put the long range, close range coating on. Probably should have done that before. The thing that's cool about this build is we have a lot of um, a lot of ice, but we also have true critical element, and what that means is I can crit on my elemental attacks, but true elemental gives you an extra boost to that crit. So like, let's say a regular crit is like 20%. I think this is like 35%. It's a true critical element, so very nice. I, you can tell I haven't played uh, bow in a long time. I need to knock you down. If you knock you down, dude, you're, oh, you're in trouble. Unless you go below where I can't hit you. I need to play more. <laughs> We've got like one headshot this entire fight. That's a good spot on his tail. He's weak there. Wow. Keeping my build, we should be doing a lot better than what we currently are. I will say that. Oh, yeah. This is kind of a mistake, but whatever. Whoa. One, two, three, four. What? Okay, we got him. He was arguably the hardest of the bunch, so. We got hit once. Had poor aim, but it'll take some getting used to. Hey, come on. You don't ask, you do not know what you're asking for. Tried to warn you. All right, who's next? Um, I'm thinking our man Toby, my boy Toby Kadach. Where you at? Edge of Death might be interesting. I doubt it though. We're probably fine. Should probably pick up some kind of slinger ammo though. I'm purposely not hitting the pickup button because I don't want to pick up footprints right now. Oh boy. Well, looks like no wall bang for you. We're just gonna beat the crap out of you real quick. Just 
tail should take some really juicy damage. Oh yeah, those are 50s. This actually looks pretty good. Oh, 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 oh. One, two, three, four. We're hitting him in the worst possible places you can imagine. I don't think this is a testament to how good my build is. This is just high rank. <laughs> high rank Toby Gadachi. Alright, let's go to you. I keep thinking I need to sharpen, but. So dude, now that I have a lot of playtime with Gunlance, I feel like the Gunlance is like the strongest weapon in the game. Or has the most best matchups, if that makes sense. Most best. Is that a thing? But like I haven't found many monsters, maybe one or two that I find difficult. Everyone else is pretty easy. When I say easy, I mean very easy. It negates like most of their kit. You know, it's kind of the same way I felt with the heavy bow gun, and it's for the same reason. You just have an unbreakable shield. You just get in front of people and just keep shooting. Which, to be honest, heavy bow gun was my favorite weapon, probably by far. Uh, back in when I played it originally, it's not what I started off with, but it's it definitely helped me get through most of the monsters in the game. That's unfortunate. Wow, that was really bad. His tail takes a lot of damage too. Oh yeah, it does. I love having big, big juicy targets. Oh god. So as you can see too, our stamina is like really good with what we got. Full Constitution, Stamina Surge 3, like, we're good. Can't tell what's going on. I hate fighting in this wood there right here. Yeah, there's just too many things to climb up on. Too many trees. Nice. Oh, yeah. Alright, we're trying to get in the rhythm a little bit here. There we go. a warm-up round because we are going to fight at Latreon in this video assuming that this unlocks the the mission to oops that was bad um the mission to get the the mantle we need that mantle so bad what the mantle does is it basically negates Pretty much anything. It negates roars, it negates knockback, so you can mount to their face and get a clean wall bang if you need it. Very useful. Because in the late game, you need all the opportunities you can to do free damage. I mean, unless you're like a speedrunner, then it doesn't matter. Which, you know what? I've noticed this playthrough. So, when I first played through a long time ago, first time playing Monster Hunter World, I valued Vitality Booster, like it just had to be level 3 on everything. This entire playthrough I've had had Vitality Booster. It's not a huge thing, but I don't know. <laughs> I think that says how comfortable I am playing these games now. Alright, I don't need any of those. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Alright, did we get it? 
And how would I know? That's the bigger question, actually. Let me check Esther. Let's go to the workshop. If I don't get it, I guess we just go without it. Seems bad, man. Okay, this is promising. Yep, summon from below. That's it. Cool. Oh. Eh, don't care. We're fine. Let's go to the canteen. We'll go beat up on Valhazak. I don't know if I did a video of him. He's pretty cool, but... You're not going to see much, though, unfortunately. So we're pretty OP right now. Well, relative to where they're at. Half past time for a new quest, eh? Uh, sure. Oh, I hate the Rotten Veil so much. Excuse me. The other thing I'd like to do is I would love to upgrade my armor. It's just so dang expensive. I have the materials, it's just not enough money. There's probably an event quest that gives me a lot of money, I just haven't looked into it. Okay, rocks, thank you. Hello, big guy. Don't mind me, don't do it. You jerk. I hate you so much. I hate monsters that don't let you mount them in the beginning. Alright, one. Wow, he's not weak there. Let's do this just instead, just because. It's pretty good. This is actually a bad matchup for me. Because he's really strong, actually. Oh no. That was so bad. Didn't even see it. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Kitty, 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 kitty. Sully. Sully. Thank you. Get up, get up. Which way do you go? Okay, yeah, he's not far. I actually think Valhazak will be easier. And I hope that he's weak to ice. Anything that's weak to ice is in big trouble. I'll get out the way, little dudes. Our dodge is so good right now, like, we have a lot of uh, invulnerability frames, like a ton. Is he dead? No, he's not. I thought he died. See, that's what Bo does. It just slides around the map, destroying things. It's a very fun playstyle, but very, um... You have to be accurate. You have to be a good aimer. Which I'm decent. I'm not amazing. Come on, please. Alright, you know what? Didn't want to do this, but you made me. Alright. Oh. So the other thing I've been working on too in this game is I've been leveling up the Guiding Lands. Like, basically, oh yeah, I didn't mention this, this is so cool, but, um, all, almost all of the end game is based around the guiding lands in this, and it's kind of like a sandboxy grind that people call it the grinding lands, because it's a zone that has, I think I already showed it, but it has a zone that has every single biome in it, and you level up each biome by fighting monsters in there, but there is this really annoying, like, super annoying mechanic where two zones were like tied together oh hello um like i don't know desert and forest 
And if you leveled up one, it took off the levels of the other one. So it was like this constant, like, back and forth. And since you don't get to pick which monsters show up, like, there's only three out and there's five zones. And so you just, if you just went around and just killed everything, you would kind of be doing nothing. Because you'd be leveling up one and then taking another one down. And just, like, it was just really frustrating to manage. And it made things take forever. They totally removed that mechanic in this mod, which is so nice. Anytime, basically what they did is, like, if you kill something, it just stays. There's no down leveling, which is huge, in my opinion. Alright, I see how you are, too. Ice. Uh, not very good. Or it's hard to tell right now. That was nice. Is he asleep? What is going on? There's no music. Ho, ho, ho. He dead? I don't understand why the music just keeps cutting out. Oh, he's running. Dude, we might kill this guy in under a minute. We can find the sweet spot. There we go. Come on. Asleep? What is he doing? He keeps stopping. Don't do it. Ah. He's too far. Oh, yeah. He killed me. That's funny. I'm paying no attention to my health. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm actually surprised he's still alive. Come on, come on. Come on, no. Well, we finally get to do something on our mount. I don't. Uh, do I care about materials? I guess I do. I can't help it. Alright, let's go. This guy should be like one or two hits and he's dead. Nope. There we go. Yay. Now we're about to get rocked. So last time I fought Elatrion, I actually tried him out. Um, he was one-shotting me, which is a problem. <laughs> a big problem. I, I've bought an... I've bought an, is that a word? I bought a new piece of armor that maybe helps me to survive more than one hit. But not by much. I mean, but you, honestly, I'm not going to survive more than two it would take a substantial amount of defense for that to happen. Oh, I need bugs. Those two. Gimme, gimme. Though these investigate not investigations, these bounties have become uh, less meaningful as the game goes on. I'm just rolling in armor spheres. I attribute that to the slot machine mechanic and Iceborne. Gleaming streamstones. Okay. I've never really interacted with like the warrior streamstones and all that other stuff. I wonder if that's just like a pre Iceborne thing. Because like even in my main playthrough, like, you know, you get to the game, you get to the end game uh, for World, the base game. And you immediately go into Iceborne and find new stuff, which makes all the in-game base world stuff kind of meaningless, I'm pretty sure. Well done. Thank you. That's what we need, Rock City. Alright. 
Um, hold on. Okay, okay. Uh, wow, we only have enough money to upgrade one piece. Oh, all of them are, except for... Okay, except for this guy. Wait a minute. All right. Oh. Oh, we were so close, that's right. Wait. Okay, there we go. Alrighty. Um, this is what we got, I guess. <laughs> uh, we're gonna eat for elemental resistance. This guy does all the elements. But I know, I feel like when he was killing me, though, he was just like, like physically punching me. I don't know. So let's use a gourmet. Um. Huh. Nah. Let's get rid of one of you guys. Alright, what do we need? Hold on, my brain is blinking. I think we need all of these. How do I get the sharpshooter? I don't remember, actually. Ooh, that's bad. Was it four of these? I feel like that's artillery. What? How is that pyro? Crap, hold on. I see. Two and four. Okay, okay. Uh, let's redo you. So we need two of these guys here. And then we need four of you. Okay, we're good. There it is. Cool. That should give us our, I don't know, best chances. So one thing I should point out too is that, uh, actually let's rename this. Oh crap, I dropped my controller. Bow element. Use this. Let me grab my controller. This version that we're gonna fight of Alatrion is the easy. And I do mean easy version. Oops. It's like a trial run. The main one's way harder. So we're just trying to get past the trial version. <laughs> Because we're still missing, you know, to be honest, like a lot of stuff we need. Um, like, there's a lot of late game augmenting that you do from the Guiding Lands to make your weapons and armor better. I haven't done any of that stuff yet. So we're still fairly weak relative to him. Uh, let's see. I need to put on the mantle. Where is it? It's gray. Here we go. And then let's save that. Bow. Cool. All right, here goes nothing. Um, yeah. Oh, I didn't sign up for it. Half past time for a new quest, eh? So you'll see, there's actually two missions to fight them. You want Dawn's Triumph. That's the trial version. This is the real one where he has more HP. I think he may even hit harder. I'm not sure. Here we go. We should beat this, though, in theory. Oh, you know what? We need one other thing. I forgot about this. He puts on Dragon Blight on you, which basically negates all of your elemental damage. So you need to bring Null Berries, because that is very bad. You need to do elemental damage to basically beat him. So let me lay out the plan here. Um, so the way... This works. If you pick Dawn's Triumph, he starts in fire mode. He has fire mode, dragon mode, and ice mode. So when he starts in fire mode, you have a little bit of time before he switches to dragon, but in that time period, you need to hit a certain elemental threshold in terms of damage. And if you do, it'll he'll fall over, and then his ultimate, he does his ultimate ability. It won't kill you, in theory. Um, you could still die if you're dumb, but... Um, Yes, so that you do that first so you won't die when he does his his, his uh, ultimate, which he will do. 
Then when he's finished his ultimate, he goes into dragon form. If you can break his head, he won't switch into fire form. If you don't break his head, he'll switch into fire form. You have to do enough elemental damage, but if you picked, you know, a fire weapon to go up, or if you picked an ice weapon, hold on, I'm not saying this right. <laughs> he starts in fire mode, you do ice damage. If you don't break his horn, he switches into ice mode, and now all of a sudden you aren't doing any elemental damage, and so you can't reach that cap, and he's going to kill you with his ultimate. So in order to prevent that, you need to break his horns to keep him in the element that you want. So, first things first is we're going to try to reach that elemental cap, and then try to break his horns so he'll stay in the element I want, and rinse, wash, repeat. Now you know how to play. I mean, for those who don't. And there's nothing special. You just want to hit him in weak parts. You want to apply the element fast. And the fastest way is to hit him in the weak parts, which will be his head and I think his crotch, actually. So let's put on this Rock City Mando. I'm probably going to mess this up, but... Because you want to get a wall bang in the beginning. Okay. Yeah. Go down. Oh, that hurts. That's the bad one. Hopefully this works. I missed. Wow, what am I missing there? See what I'm saying? Like, I don't... I don't know. This just kind of sucks. I'm so bad. <laughs> We're gonna die. doing a lot of elemental though. I hate that move there. Alright, let's put on my other mantle. I think we're- oh, we're not safe back here. Where's my mantle? Thank you. So we're on a timer here. We need to be doing damage. We don't have much time to break this- or to reach that elemental cap. Shoot. good. Our elemental is so good, I think we'll be fine to reach that cap before. In theory. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, shit. Crap, we're not hitting it. We need to hit him. How have you not hit that breaking point yet? Come on, dude. Shoot. Alright, we did it. Now we need to break his horn. I'm not sure if you could do it with a bow, though. Hold on. We can try it with this. It's a bit risky. Yeah, we miss. Okay. Now he's in dragon mode. He's not doing his ultimate yet, but soon. Okay. One, two, three. Come on, break that horn. What? Wow, I call BS on that one. This is bad. We're probably gonna die as soon as we stand up. Oh, thank you. Okay. Do not care for you up there. Did we break his horn? We did. Why did I not bring you down? Shoot. Okay, so far not so bad. He's on Sully. We're doing good, actually. No. Alright, 
know. I need to be ready for his ultimate ability. I hate the I hate the lightning. Oh no. Holy cow. Oops. Alright, this is it. Need to be ready with this. We should be fine. I should use a stir jerky, but I don't have any. And boom. Eat it now. Oh, that was close. Okay, we're good. So now he's back to fire. So we still have to get that cap again. So far, we're doing pretty good. Shoot. Okay. Ooh. I don't like that move. Wow. What? Oh no, stay down. Sully? We got him. That wasn't too bad. Again, that's just his original version. This should give us a chance to make his weapon though, actually. Because he's way harder than that, trust me. Yeah, they give you stuff to make his weapon. There's no way I just ripped the rarest thing on the first <laughs> card. We'll try the real mission. That was just a warm up. Alright. Uh, anything on the ground? Nope. We did okay. We didn't die, so there's that. And there's really nothing we want to make in terms of weapons, at least to fight him. You can use his stuff to make good Elatrion, or I'm sorry, uh, weapons to fight Fatalis, which is coming up next. Whew, okay. Um, his armor is actually pretty good, though, if I remember. Hopefully there's no cutscenes. So we're just going to turn around and fight him again. Okay, good. Uh, we'll talk to you in a minute. Hold on. Alright, what do we need? We need more stuff. We're going to make an Elatrion uh, loadout real quick. And we're just going to add Null Berries. There we go. We should add a Stero Jerky too, if I have any. We should... I think I remember buying a bunch. Yeah, here we go. I don't remember what it does. I know everyone uses it. I, I know it takes your red damage and converts it into health. But I don't know if it saves you from dying. I I've seen people do it, though. I don't know if it heals you to full when you eat it, too. I don't know. I'm a little hesitant to try it, but it's better than nothing. If I run out of other stuff, I'll use it. So we'll call this a Latrion. Oh, whoops. What did I do? Or Alatreon. Whatever you want to call it. Okay. Let's go eat, and then we'll fight him for real. The other big difference about fighting him for real is they don't drop you in town to let you put on your mantle for a wall bang. You have to drop in and then do it afterwards. You'll see what I mean. Let's put this on you. Um, yes. Ooh, we're gonna get worked. This is a hard fight. This is a very hard fight. <clears throat> Especially for a bow, I feel like I'm super squishy. 
We need to do a little more farming for me to feel more comfortable. But here we are anyways, let's go. Hopefully this puts them in fire. If it doesn't, we're in big trouble. Yeah. Because if he starts on ice, we're basically... We just need to quit the run. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is this Sephajiva? Did I screw up? Or is this where you fight Elytreon? That's definitely Elytreon. Big boy. You gonna burst? Oh no. I feel like there's a 95% chance we lose this fight. In which case, we'll go back to the drawing board, get a little stronger, and try him again. Okay, he is in fire mode. That's good. Ay, ay, ay. Very cool looking. Oh boy. Hi. Alright, we need to put on our mantle quick. I, I guess there's no rocks though, so I don't even know what I'm gonna be trying to do. That's yes, it is. Oh man. Bad start. We're dead. Oh no, we're not. Kitty. I do. Wanna get under here and stay safe from your lightning? We're dead. Oh, we're not. Uh, yeah, we're kind of dead. Oh my god, we're done. Nope. Nope. What am I doing? Okay, we're wasting a whole lot of time here. Where is this weak spot in the back? Not doing very well in terms of damage. This will help. We're dead. I dodged the wrong way. Get up safely. I could be dead here. Okay. No. No. Okay. Put on this. Run out of time here. My biggest problem. He's in the air. He's kind of a nightmare. Just hard to do damage. Here we go. Um, here we go. Please, we gotta reach that cap. We don't have much time. Oh, that hurts. Why? Okay, good. Break 
break the horns. We need to. One, two, three. Okay. Now we just gotta go for headshots, like, constantly. That's gonna hurt. Come on. Look at me. Oh crap, we are out of... We're dead. Oh wow. Trying. Crap. Look at me. My concern is we're not going to break the horns, which means we're guaranteed to die, or shoot. You know what we probably should be doing is trying to knock him out of the sky. Is there rocks here? There it is. Alright, I got an idea. Don't die. Where's my rock steady mantle? Okay, we gotta get him out of the sky. Come over here. That's probably game. Because we're not going to be able to break his horns. Uh, we have to get lucky here. Hold on. If we can land and wall bang him, we have a shot. But he needs to be positioned correctly. Like that. Maybe? Maybe? We got it. Nice. Bombers were very low, but we need to take this opportunity to damage. Oh no. That was stupid. Okay. We're doing okay now. We need healers bad. It's fine. Good opportunity to do damage, but we were not prepared. Oh god. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. That's a good sign. Oh no. Oh boy. Don't get hit by lightning here. Honestly, so far, not too bad. That sucks that we got hit with ice. That's really gonna hurt our... our stamina consumption. Oof. Okay, so we're in big trouble. We still have a lot of work to do. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, we have Fortify. Huh, did I have that last time? Interesting. We're going to take this just to get an Ancient Potion to get our health and stamina up. You know, let's use some power coatings. Oops. Alright. What am I doing? Alright, let's go. Man, we're still a long ways away from Temporal. Wait a minute, what? He didn't do his ult. Interesting. Now he is, okay. Let's try this Astero Jerky, just for science. Go. Okay. Hey, it works. Cool. So now he's back in fire mode. Alright, don't want to get hit by this. 
I need to pay attention to where lightning is. Oh my god. doing enough to get him to topple. Crap. One, two, three, roll. Oh shoot. Okay. Thank God for evasion window. This is bad. Stay down. Stay down. Okay. Oh boy. Dang. We tried. I think we had him at about health, half HP. We'll get him next time. I'm feeling a little more or comfortable fighting him, so. We just need to do a little bit more farming. Let's take a look at his armor, though, and stuff, and then we'll call it a video. But that was the real deal. And soloing him is kind of a, a big achievement, I feel like. I don't know. It's definitely not easy. I'll say that. Let's see what we got here. There you are, Fiver. There you are, Fiver. Alrighty. So, element conversion, all elemental resistances. So, I think what his armor does is it takes your your armor value for your resistances and then adds them to your elemental damage let's see if that's the case converts total positive elemental resistances into elemental damage times eight wow so let's say you had like 50 50 resistances across the board which is kind of hard to get maybe not with this armor but uh that would give you 400 extra um, elemental, you know, divided by 10, so it's actually 40, but that's still a lot. It's not bad. It's got resentment, meh. Attack boost is fine. Dragon attacks, okay. Eh, it's alright. It's not bad. There's probably pieces of it that are good. Like, individual. Like, that's not bad. Ooh, that's really good, actually. If you have someone who needs power prolonger, like, maybe the uh, what's that thing called? The switch axe, that'd be good. I mean, these are decent pieces. They're very stat heavy. It's a lot of defense. Which I guess you need, because if you get enough defense, it like boosts your elemental as well. Yeah, look at that. Plus 5%, which isn't huge if you only have like 15. <laughs> it's not big at all, but... Alright, let's check one of his weapons. Um, let's do a gun lance. There must be another level above this, because shelling 8 is not good. Let me see something. Yeah, here we go. So 280, 66 dragon is actually a lot. Um... Low Elder Seal is kind of meh. Two, two slots, which isn't bad. That's a lot of purple sharpness, though. Which, you know, for Gunlands, you don't really care too much. But not bad. Really, you want this for the dragon. I don't know if it makes sense on a Gunlance. Let's check the bow. 6, 60. Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, that'd be good for Fatalis, which is basically what they're doing. They're setting you up to fight like Fatalis. Hmm. But anywho, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm going to continue... Well, let me show you what I'm going to do, actually. So, if we look at this guy... Oh, can you not? Oh. Yeah. See, they have this, these slots, if you look underneath my weapon, where you can put in any of these little upgrades here. We could increase the element, um, but you see, we still need an unknown piece, which I think you get from the Guiding Lands as you level it up. 
And also health regen would be nice. I'm not sure how well that works on bow, but basically you don't need to heal. I mean, depending on how good it is, you could do enough damage wherever you get hit and you're constantly getting hits in that you can heal your own self without having to waste or take time putting your weapon away and using a potion. So again, we still have a lot of stuff that we need to upgrade here. And even, you know, infinity increase would be nice here. Or attack damage. We got some options. And then also, our armor needs to be upgraded too to unlock the limit, which basically lets you upgrade it another tier. Which I can do now, but I don't have the money. Like, upgrading it is super expensive. So, we're going to be trying to figure out that. There's probably an event that gives you cash. But once we get all that stuff maxed, we'll go back in versus Alatrion and probably take him out. But uh, anyway, guys, I hope that was informational. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, hope you're all having a good holidays. And as always, guys, until next time, have a good one.